and welcome to today's vlog um, on Friday the 13th of October. Um, we weren't going to do a vlog of the Times crossword today um, because as you've probably seen Mark's put up a uh, video explaining the listener uh, that came out three weeks ago today. Um, but I've just solved this puzzle and frankly it deserves a vlog. This is absolutely superb times crossword puzzle um, and it's as good a crossword puzzle as I've done in months. Um, the cluing is quite sublime, uh, not easy, uh, it's a brute of a puzzle um, but there's so much wit and invention that it's actually almost worth going through every clue here because there are so many examples of brilliance um, by the setter. Uh, so I thought we'd just take a look at it. Do, do, do not be discouraged if you are a relatively inexperienced solver of cryptic puzzles and you tried this puzzle and got very few answers and you know you're sort of scratching your head as to what was going on. Um, this, this sort of puzzle takes a lot of experience to get even any answers in the grid. Um, and then to you know to actually finish the puzzle, I think you you know you can you know pat yourself on the back if you, if you did that because this is um yeah this is as hard as it comes in a daily crossword in my opinion in the English language and therefore in the world um so let, let's just take a look at some of the some of the brilliance here so one across um, sweetener and tea bag in cups and one of the things that I loved about this puzzle is how good the surface reading of the clues um, is. I mean it's there's just example after example of expressions that you know they, they, they could appear outside of a crossword context and that's very unusual. Um, uh, most um, most cryptic clues suffer from the I suppose the slight the slightly strained, the slightly unusual reading. I mean this is lovely sweetener and tea bag in cups. Um, so how's this working? Well, char is an old word for, for tea or, um, and actually it's, it's tricky because it can appear as just CHA rather than CHAR which is what's going on here. So this is char for tea uh, and then bag in cups is the most extraordinary thing. So it's bag sack in in and cups is being used as a container indicator there so it's saying that you need to put the, the word that you found for tea in the words that you found for bag in and the whole thing being a sweetener so you know staggeringly brilliant um, certainly not my first one in even though and even though I solved so up at one down that was my first one in and then it moved to one across and saw the possibility of saccharin uh, just because it's a nine letter sweetener I, I, I rubbed it out because I couldn't understand how it could possibly be right it took a long time to pass the clue correctly um, yeah so um, well, well done to the setter um, right let's let's move through at some of the other clues that I thought were fantastic here so set down outside hotel briefly went wandering seven letters for nine across. Um, so what's happening here? Well set down is written so that's the definition and then outside hotel briefly means that you need to take a four letter word for a hotel which is the Ritz in this case um, briefly so you, you just need the RIT and you've got an anagram of went around that so you know it's just superb use of the language and the rules of the cryptic crossword clue um, and uh, you know it's uh, it's also completely misleading you, you read it and you you know the the meaning of set down is in to write down is just not obvious um, let's have a look congestion likely here take train for 11 across so definition turns out to be congestion likely here. I was convinced I was going to be looking for some sort of nasal passage. Um, but take train, take as in to steal, so that's to pinch. 
and then train as in point you know to train your gun at something you point your gun so you know the use of take train and it happens over and over again in this puzzle is very natural looking phrases um, giving rise to actual actual wordplay I love that 12 across four letters group of females don't speak for long and you know even if you know the answer it can take a few moments to see what's going on here so the group of females is the WI don't speak is as in the instruction if you if you if you tell someone not to speak you shush them so uh, so that's what's happening there sh and then four is saying that you take you put the wi and sh together and that gives you a word for to long as in to wish um, so it's just brilliant um, a winsome inconstant Romeo was probably one of the easier clues and it's an it's an and lit and we've gone through what and lits are in a, one of the earlier episodes but so this is an anagram of a, of a winsome and R for Romeo with the whole thing being wordplay and definition very clever lovely um, vivacious break promises to play after girl becomes animated again very good surface Break promises to pay is is superb. Um, so promises to pay we've seen a lot of times. They're IOUs, so you can definitely get a handle on that. But the break there is is so clever because the set is using that as in a holiday, a vacation, which can be shortened to a vac. So we've got vac and IOUs after a girl, which is vi, as in violet. Um, and to become animated, you know, animated. If you are animated, you are vivacious. Uh, wonderful. Again, um, twenty across. Uh, again, I saw. I, I thought of ache and achy, um, but couldn't justify it for, for the longest time. So, saw about hotel charging. Indeed. So what's happening here? Well, about you've got C, which is an abbreviation for circa, hotel in the uh, phonetic alphabet so that's H charging is saying you, you you put those inside a word for indeed which is a a Y so charge is into charge one's glass to fill one's glass so very clever again um, 21 across the most extraordinary clue grand players evidently having won by more by him say more than a whisker okay so that again a very good surface very hard to get a handle on what the definition might be as was the case with a number of the clues here so what's going on well um, <laughs> it's just brilliant more than a whisker turns out to be the definition and it's not more than a whisker as in you know by a lot a whisker is being used in the context of somebody who whisks and if you have more than one person who whisks you have a plural of that obviously so egg beaters can be answers they are many, as in many whiskers and then the word play is, is breaking down as G for, for grand players evidently having won are beaters because they presumably they beat somebody and that's being put alongside e.g. for say so that is how that works um, startling startling clue again um, my last one in was um, 26 across this clue this one clue well actually it's one clue did take me seven minutes to solve however that is partly because I had a mistake at 23 down that I needed to correct. So let's take a look at that first. Unhealthy looking girl, type to avoid exercise classes. Well, uh, I correctly managed to pass this as being a word for unhealthy looking. And I could see I was looking for a three letter word for a girl, followed by the TY. And the TY you get from type to avoid exercise classes so that's saying take the letters TYPE 
and remove the PE for physical education. Um, so I knew I knew TY at the end, and I thought the three-letter girl I thought of was Sal. So I put in salty. Now let me tell you, if you put in salty, 26 across becomes very, very hard indeed. Um, and it was only after some minutes that I reconsidered 23 down and I thought there might possibly be a word suety. It's not a word I've ever heard of. Uh, I guess if something does look suety, it probably looks a bit unhealthy. So that went in and then it didn't take me so long to get 26 across after that because I, I'd obviously been thinking about the possibility of owl for the first word so let's work out how it works well as birds of prey wheeling round we must hide it turns out the definition here quite incredibly is as birds that's it so it's saying that <laughs> If you, uh, if you are like an owl, you are owl-like. You are as the owls. Um, and then the rest of it, of, is being used here as a link word. And we've talked a bit about this in recent episodes. It does seem to be completely fine now in the times for of to be a link word. Um, so of is saying that we need to then use the words that follow the word of as the word play. So how's it working? Well, we've got prey wheeling round. Well, prey wheeling is saying reverse kill. And obviously, if you if you've uh, if you've shot a bird, that's often referred to as the kill. So that, that's what's going on there. So we we reverse kill. Um, and round we must hide is saying take an O, and the word we and put that around the edge, the reversed word for prey, being kill. So it is yeah, um, just another example of, of superb cluing here. I'll, I'll just, I, I don't want the video to be too long and I, I could talk about every clue here. Um, that's how good this puzzle was. Um, but let me just scan down some of the others. So um, six down for Axel. Here we've got bars, 10 beer bottles. Another superb surface. Very hard to see how this could be a cryptic clue. Um, so that's working as X for the Roman numeral 10. And then beer bottles is saying that take a word for beer and bottle the X, i.e. put it around the outside. So an, an Axel being a bar. So I mean, I'm sure that's been done before, but whether it's been done quite as well as that, I doubt. Um, let's have a look at what else did I think was particularly clever here. Um, da -da 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 -da. I loved 22 down as well. Um, so let's just finish with that one. Sailors regularly intervening in fight in city borough. Okay, so what's going on there is... Um, got the Royal Navy which is one of the many abbreviations for sailors RN and that's being that's intervening regularly ie being placed at regular intervals within the word box for fight and a city borough being the Bronx Bronx in this instance um, so I don't know if the setter will will watch this vlog but if he does or she does I would like to say that this was a work of genius and congratulations thank you very much as a solver I loved it and I hope that the, uh, the viewers of the blog who's, who solved it today uh, enjoyed it as much as I did and I hope this is helpful and we'll see you again tomorrow probably for a we'll probably have a look at the killer Sudoku thanks for watching